Hey y'all, what's up? My name is December Smith and welcome to my channel. So just a quick intro about me. I am a fashion illustrator and designer. I'm a new college graduate. I just graduated from Morgan State University with my degree in fashion merchandising. So basically, I'm just here to teach you and show you all about fashion illustration, design, a little bit of styling, more fashion tips, and what I know and what I've learned about the industry. So let's get into it. So to start off from my first video, I want to go over everything that I use to create my fashion illustrations. So you can follow me on social media on my Instagram or go to my website to see a lot of my um, designs and my portfolio of what I've done in college and what I've done just for fun out of, you know, just being a fashion illustrator. So um, a little bit more background info. I've been doing fashion illustrations since I was about 10. So a little bit over 10 years now. Um, and before... I was doing just mainly traditional sketches, paper, pencil type of thing. And then about maybe five or six years ago, I got into digital drawing and I started doing digital sketches. So everything that I'm about to talk about now is just everything that I use for um, traditional and digital sketching. So let's get into it. Alright, so just to start off, your basics, sketchbook. Um, this is a 7 by 10 inch mixed media sketchbook I got from Michaels. I just prefer this size because sometimes I tend to draw a little bit small so it's enough room to give me a little bit more space but it's still small enough where you know my drawings kind of look a little bit bigger to me. <laughs> um, I prefer the mixed media paper because sometimes I do like to use alcohol based markers and the ink does not bleed through too much through this type of paper. So next are these regular, just, just some regular basic drawing pencils. I don't remember the brand. Um, I think it's probably just like a store brand. Oh, it says Nicole Pro on them. I got these from Michaels as well. These are like your normal, regular 2B, um, H, F, H, B kind of pencils. So yeah. And then, more recently, I've gotten into these Prismacolor Cold Erase Color Pencils. So if you watch a lot of art channels here, people that do more traditional sketching, you'll see them talk about these. And they, they live up to the hype. They do live up to the hype. Um, they're, uh, I do prefer these more than the regular basic, you know, standard drawing pencils. More because they're definitely easier to erase as a color pencil, but also because you can apply different types of pressure and get different, you know, um, heavier strokes and things like that than you know compared to these where you kind of have to switch between a h or a f or a h b 2 b that type of thing so yes these are definitely a good find and then next i just have your basics mechanical pencil um sometimes i just do quick sketches with these if i have something on my mind sometimes this is definitely a little bit more easier for me to use a mechanical pencil i've been using them in school and for me, it's a little bit more comfortable. So, you know, um, with a lot of mechanical pencils, they come with a grip. I am a type of person that needs a grip. I just get better strokes, better lines with this type of pencil. So along with the mechanical pencils, I did recently find this colored lead from Papermate. So I like to use these in combination because it's kind of like using the Prismacolor Cold Erase colored pencils, but I still have that comfortability with the um, grip on the mechanical pencil, I get better strokes and better lines, yeah. Okay, so next I just use a regular gummy eraser. Got this from the craft store. And then I recently found something new. So these, this is an eraser pencil. It's by Faber-Castell um, and it's made like a wooden, regular wooden pencil. You can sharpen it, but instead of it being lead on the end, there's actually like that eraser material. So these are really, really, really good. I, I really like it so far. Um, I've only had it about a couple weeks, but it's definitely good for like getting in those little teeny spots that you want to erase. If you've made um, a mistake or messed up on a line, if you want to erase, you know, anything. So these are really good. And then last, I have a needed eraser. It's about the same use as the eraser pencil. Um, I don't use it too much. Sometimes I just like to go over my um, traditional sketches just to get rid of any fine thin lines that I was using to start out with. And then you just need it to clean it, basic. So next I use a couple of markers that do a little bit of outlining. I don't usually outline my drawings when I'm doing traditional sketches because um, most of the time I just take a picture of it and then move on 
move it to uh, the computer or whatever I'm using to do a digital sketch. But these are Micron, the Pikma Micron pens. Um, I used the 03 and the 05 in black ink. Really, really good. These are a little bit better. Before I used to use the Sharpie pen, but these are better because the ink is more pigmented and it does not fade away when you erase it. And then what I use for my digital sketches, two basic things. iPad, Apple Pencil. That's all really. So I have the latest model of the iPad right here and then the first generation Apple Pencil. So for my iPad, I don't really like the screen. I have a screen protector because the screen for me is too slippery. My hands slide too much. It doesn't, for me, it doesn't go well with the Apple Pencil. So I have a paper-like screen protector. It's not from the brand paper-like, but it is made it's anti-glare it's made to sound and feel like actual paper and it just you know it's just a little bit more realistic for me but I do like to use digital a lot more because it's easier to just control the lines erase and then resize reshape whatever you have to do so you don't have to redraw it and erase it the whole thing and everything like that so there's that and then first generation Apple Pencil I do have a grip on it because that's just what I'm more comfortable with I need some kind of grip on type of on um, any type of pencil that I'm using as well as I don't like the way that this one is made the plastic or whatever they use to make it is way too slippery it just slides right out my hand so um, the main app that I use to create my digital sketches is procreate so yeah that's everything that I use to create my fashion illustrations I hope this was helpful to you guys I hope you guys got a good insight of what to get if you're just starting out keep in mind you don't have to get the most expensive of the pencils or the erasers or anything like that you can just start with basic Crayola you know just start just to practice with um, and show me your fashion illustrations I want to see what you guys come up with connect with me I want to see if you picked up anything that I mentioned I'm gonna try to link everything below in the description box and I will see y'all next time subscribe for more videos and yeah bye say hi to the people Ugh. Say hi. No, not me. Say hi. Okay. See you later. <laughs> so next for my traditional... I am a fashion illustrator. Denim. Denim. You can't be doing that right now, girl. I was on, I was on it. I had the momentum. Hey, y'all. Ho, oh. ho. Denim, say bye to the peoples. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Subscribe. Bye. No, don't kiss me. Not right now. See y'all.